you're good with details and like physical activity and working with people, you may want to consider the occupation of parts technician. Parts technicians manage and dispense automotive parts or parts from other types of equipment. They may be responsible for a number of duties, from identifying and cataloging the parts to pricing and selling them. We visited a parts technician to find out more. I'm Ramona Jackson. I'm a parts technician for City of Edmonton Police Services. A parts technician is someone who handles every aspect of a part. You're sourcing parts, receiving parts, inventorying parts, you're looking up, up what they are, you're identifying them, you're finding out where to buy them, how to get them. As a parts technician, you could end up in almost any field, um, recreation vehicles, motorcycles, all-terrain vehicles, farm implements. You could work in anywhere that has moving parts, you would have a parts technician. I met a mechanic and ended up marrying him. So I got involved helping him fix vehicles, do sorts of things like that. Got more involved with what he did and we ended up getting into business. Um, so by the time I started taking cars apart and identifying every piece from one end of the car to the other, I decided, hey, this is my thing. So from that point, I went through the apprenticeship program and became a journeyman parts technician. You don't need a ticket, but I would encourage it. Um, going to school and getting the education and the basis for the industry is, is a really good idea. It's a good program. Uh, you do learn a lot, like I say, the basics for your program. And once you get into the workforce, then you, you learn the rest of what you need to know. I start work at 7 in the morning. I put away inventory. I place orders for the mechanics, I help them find their requirements in the parts room, uh, do special orders for lights, um, any requirements that they have that way. If there's returns to do, quite often you'll have a warranty or a defective part, you have to send it back. Um, some cases you even get the wrong part and you have to return it, get the right part. A lot of sourcing. Tools for the job are fairly basic. Um, you do a lot of computer internet, email, most catalogs nowadays are online. Um, all your paper process is through the computer. Um, there's carts and ladders that you require to distribute your parts. In a lot of the facilities, depending on what type of work you do, you, you do get into some shift work. Um, a lot of our facilities are two shift. There's a day and an afternoon. Um, some industries are 24-7, so you'll get into to different hours of work depending on, on what it is. Ent entry level, um, you'll get receive uh, on-the-job training, you'll get schooling. Um, what I'm looking for when I'm interviewing to fill an apprenticeship position is I, I want somebody with a great attitude. I want somebody that maybe has experience in customer service, even if it's working out of a fast food restaurant. Perfect. You learn things by doing that. Um, we can teach you how to be a parts tech. You have to bring with you the attitude, uh, those personal skills that make a good partsman a great parts person. After work on my own time, I like to golf and camp. Uh, I do Tai Chi. I go to a class twice a week. I live on an acreage which is busy with yard work and I have a couple of dogs so I was busy running after them. As a parts technician you would require skills of accuracy. Um, you have to multitask, you have to manage the phones and the mechanics and orders coming in and out the door. Uh, you have to be able to work with others. There's, you're always interacting either on the phone or in person with other people and you need to be organized. Everything has a system and you need to make sure you can manage that throughout the day. This occupation is active. You're lifting parts, putting parts away. It's not overly heavy work. You have to be able to lift up to 50 pounds. Otherwise, you have equipment that aid you in doing that. You may have to work on a forklift. Um, there's a lot of sitting, standing, stretching, moving, putting parts away, but nothing overly strenuous. 
With the year's experience I had, I went and rode off to get my warehousing technician license and I've gone and got my certificate in purchasing. But I always come back to parts because it's, I believe it's where I belong and it's what I do and it's what I'm good at. It's a rewarding job. It's, it's fun, it's different. It's never the same day twice. Um, getting into this line of work would never be a mistake. You have uh, so many opportunities, whether you're in automotive, agriculture, jobber there's there's ample opportunity you can move to other fields of work and having a parts background is is a valuable asset to become a parts technician you will need to undergo an apprenticeship training program if the occupation of parts technician interests you there's more information available including educational requirements and salary ranges in the occupational profiles on Alice you may also be interested in the related occupation of materials technician. Learn more on the ALICE website and make the most of your future. Visit us at alice.alberta.ca.